Good morning. So today we are going to Pettit Jean State Park in Arkansas. And we're going to try and head out early. There's not a whole lot to do except to take care of the animals and uh, get everything tidied up and to get everything in the car. So we have a lady taking care of the animals for us and she and her kids are going to stay in the silo. If y'all want to check out the silo house Airbnb, please check the link in the description. And we're going to stop at my mom's aunt's house, which is a nice halfway point for us. And the drive is about seven hours. So we're just going to get everything ready and we'll see you all in Arkansas. We wrote this for all the animals for what all needs to be done for them while we're gone and I forgot to bring down the tape and marker to change mine up a little bit. We work hard on the farm to create a place for others to escape the busyness of life. And as much as we love the farm and we love our lives, sometimes it's nice for us to get away sometimes to rest and relax. So this is Eli's first out of state road trip and he did great the whole way. With all seven of us being in there, it was a little tight, but we managed to get all of us in our gear in the van. The drive from our farm up to the first half of Arkansas remained relatively flat until we hit the base of the mountain, and then we started our journey up the mountain to Pettigene State Park. So real quick, I'm going to attempt to give you all a tour of our little site. So starting with the yurt. So we've got three bunk beds here. Uh, most of the stuff in here we brought out, um, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. So we do have electricity and all that stuff. We got life vest and we got paddles for the canoe. And uh, most everything else we brought ourselves. And then for our little side we've got the yurt and we've got our little deck area. And then down here we've got a, a grill, a little. little fire pit, propane grill, little picnic table, and we got a nice view of the lake. I tried. Since we were driving all day, we were too tired to cook, so we unpacked and put everything in the yurt, and we hopped over to the lodge to grab a bite to eat and enjoy a nice sunset. Day two, we went on Cedar Falls trails, and the trail we went on there and back was a little over two miles. It was a beautiful hike with lots of greenery. When we got there, it wasn't flowing very much, but it was still a beautiful sight.
day three, we drove north from where we were staying to Mount Magazine. Mount Magazine is the highest point in Arkansas, climbing 2,753 feet above sea level. We decided to hang out there for a little while and eat lunch and enjoy the view. After our time in Mount Magazine, we decided to head back to the campsite cook dinner, hang out by the fire, and spend good quality time together. Bear Cave was one of my favorites because you could climb on the rocks and get amazing views and it was just a great experience. And once we got back to the yurt, we decided to go out fishing for a little bit. And at Hot Springs, well, there wasn't a whole lot to see there, so we jumped over to the observation tower where a really kind lady offered to pay for us to go to the top, 216 feet high. On day 6, we visited Rock House Cave and Turtle Rock. I don't remember exactly how long the hike was, but it was pretty neat. At Rock House Cave, Native Americans drew all over the walls of the cave and is said to be around 2,000 years old. And y'all can probably guess why it's called Turtle Rock. a French girl named Adrian disguised herself as a cabin boy named Jean in order to follow her beloved to America. Because of her small size, other sailors nicknamed her Petit Jean, which is French for Little John. At some point in arriving in Arkansas, Petit Jean became ill. Although the exact nature of her illness remains unclear, whatever her illness might have been, her identity was revealed. Unfortunately, it killed her and was subsequently buried atop the mountain now called Petagene. After spending six nights in Arkansas, it was time for us to pack up and head back home. 
Arkansas is really a beautiful state and we hope to visit again soon.